What's up guys, it's Deepak Shukla here again from certwith.com back helping you work through these reports in case you've got it for a client and they're asking what the hell does that mean and what is its important importance. So today we're talking about the www.resolve. Um, we found your resolve and it's looking good. Okay, so what is this and what does it mean? So fundamentally you'll notice that here we've got audit.certwiz.com, okay, which means the www is not present. Even if we typed in www.certwiz.com, it would resolve, right? So let's just do that. Certwiz.com, it would resolve to the actual W, uh, the, 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 the naked domain, okay? So when I say naked domain or naked URL, it's without the www. Okay? Now, from a, um, so why do we do that? So Ultimately, you want to have a canonical URL that your actual site resolves to. So what canonical URL means, this is the original URL and this is the one and the only one you should consider. And the way that you can do that is by ultimately having the redirect set up, which is something that your technical team can do. Now, I want to talk about the differences briefly between the two and why it matters. So for the most part, um, from, a, from an SEO standpoint, there is no technical reason to have one or the other. OK, now, why is um, the truth that many sites you'll see, Pearl Lemon, CertWiz, we have a, um, a naked domain without the www. Um, you'll find that most websites have it in that fashion. I think it looks better. It's easier to type, and for those two reasons, it's why most people use it. Now, in some instances, whilst from an SEO perspective there's no difference, it is better to have www. Now, the reason for that is you have more flexibility with your, I think, CNAME records as well as your DNS, and, and these come into play when you're looking at really high traffic websites and maybe get millions of views a day where you need um, different server setups for redundancies when one server fails, they need to, or is failing, you need to point the C name, meaning point, you know, the, the, the site's IP, etc., to a different server to ensure consistent uptime. And in those instances, you use, is it Heroku or some really, really, you know, servers that are for scalable applications. So, Maybe if we go to, let's just go to Amazon to see if what they use. So Amazon, and let's just Google them, go there. So Amazon, I mean, Amazon use the, uh, the naked domain as well. So you'd think that some sites, let's have a look at BBC to see what they do. You know, maybe the case that no one's using it. Well, okay, it looks like no one's using it. Maybe the technology has progressed, but um, I had something up. Why should I use www? Because you tomorrow you want a big website, really big. When was this dated? Doesn't say. Um, if you decide to use the naked domain, you want services on sh subdomains and share cookies with them, you'll quickly find it doesn't work right in all cases unless you have a subdomain. Anyway, so there's, 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 there's a complication here, but should I redirect? Redirections ensure the visitors type in your URL reach the URL reach you regardless of which form they use and ensure the search engines index your canonical URLs properly. So so really that's the most important thing, okay? Um, and for the most part people um, use the naked domains and if I, I think I had one more up when I was curious about reading into it. Um, so um, this is like a, a, about the technical issues that people might face. Um, when you add www, it acts as a host name, which can help flexibility to DNS, ability to restrict, restrict cookies when using multiple domains and more. Um, domains that are naked do not have a technical advantage, but they just um, look prettier, basically. And I think, to be honest with you, that's really um, the, 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 the main thing, that, um, that for most people, it's personal preference. Most of the internet, as you can see, prefers without the www dot. And as long as they resolve to the same URL, then you're absolutely fine. So without getting really deep into the plumbing of the technical complexities, um, you could look at, you know, why people do use www dot. And, you know, there's some there's some elements here, um, but it seems that, you know, Amazon and the like aren't using it, but maybe they've got um, 
uh, it's different insights into it. And if we just have a look at when this was, it's eight years ago, it's probably changed since then. But anyway, there you go, guys. Most of the internet uses do um, naked domains. You should absolutely do the same, my friends. So there you go.